We're gonna put down sod following this exact line all the way down there to where the other sod from someone else's property meets ours. Um, all of this is gonna get tilled. Um, and there's a small little hump of dirt right over there that we've got to take down about a foot. We're actually gonna put it in this low spot right over here where the guy says that uh, we have a water accumulating from rainfall. So my saw just arrived. I am so excited for this job. Let's take a look at this right here. Now, it's not all mine. I'm only getting 4,000 square feet of it, but I'm just so happy that this job is going to its plan because not everything always works out the way you want. So you gotta be patient. All right, so the saw is here. Um, I've already tilled it three inches deep one direction going up and down the slope But now in order to get it really smooth, I'm going to till it going across long ways Now I had to dig out some dirt. I mean I had to dig out some stones But that's just part of the job man, you know Rarely does anything go as planned when you're doing with, when you're dealing with mother nature and land But uh, I love what I do so let's get this job done and make it look pretty. So earlier when the sod arrived, I explained that the job is going exactly as I planned it. However, I went and turned, off, turned in the, uh, the cultivator and the dingo. And what happened when I got back to the job site? It literally poured. You literally got an inch of rain, almost an inch of rain. So now I'm, I'm literally working in a mud pit, but I, I, you know, I'm so grateful because this sod is going to be so happy every time it goes down on this mud because it gets to soak up this fresh water. I mean, this is exactly what it needs on the days that it goes down. Look at this. This is literally a mud pit. Straight mud. But that's all right. These things happen. And this is only for the benefit. Um, we got almost a pallet down. Um, I'm going to put down the rest of that pallet in another one. And then tomorrow I'm going to have two helpers with me. And uh, we're going to put as much down as we possibly can. And then Wednesday the trees are going in the ground. We got a berm behind me. We're going to put eight arborvitae up there spaced out evenly. I think they're going to be between five and six feet tall um, to give him a little bit of privacy. You know, 
it'll take some time for them to fill in, you know, literally a couple of years, but it, you know, it, it'll work out in the end. Um, so yeah, behind me is where all of the sod is going to go. All of this is going to get sodded, even around the stone. All right, so back on the job site today and got uh, got my two helpers with me. Got Antonio. I've got the other guy over there. He's going to be my toter guy. And uh, this is what we got going on. Um, completely saturated from the rain we had yesterday. But like I said earlier, that is going to be the benefit for this turf today because it's going to have plenty of hydration to suck up on, soak up on. So I just rolled up to the job that I finished on Thursday. As you can see behind me, and we have brand new sod put down. The homeowner's watering it like you should. Everything is filling in nicely. We went over it with a, uh, a lawn roller. That was the last thing we did. We have our pine straw up here, nice and thick, really, really good right here. Gonna keep out the keep out the weeds for a little bit. They are weed whacked and they're sprayed. And we have our eight green giant arborvitae. Came out really, really nice. Tiff Tough Bermuda is what we got. This is beautiful. This is absolutely amazing. This came out 10 times better than I thought it would. The day I tilled it is the day it poured. We ran into some serious, serious problems, man. I'm telling you. But this, I didn't expect the outcome to be looking this good. This is, this is perfect, man. 